Well, the purpose of the, of the event is to bring uh, uh, people together to talk about the issues that are facing Iowa's drinking water. Uh, there's a lot of things going on with respect to um, nitrate problems and the Flint, Michigan problem with lead contamination. There are other things happening. We brought together experts today to get a variety of, of ideas and opinions about what's going on in Iowa. Sure, there are really two purposes. One is that we have an environmental policy research program um, and the questions about water quality and drinking quality are really critical to the research that we do. And second, the Public Policy Center has a strong community engagement mission and that's then sharing that information and knowledge that we gain from our research with policymakers and the public. And this symposium is a perfect example of that. Uh, so far, I think it's been great. We've had, uh, you know, it's not just a kumbaya and everybody holding hands, and, um, but it's really been a good discussion of some very difficult issues. And, you know, if these issues were easy, we'd be solved. We wouldn't have to be here talking about them. And so whether it's an ag perspective or whether it's the conservation perspective or, you know, different things in between, you know, it's been a great discussion about those things. And, you know, ultimately, we, we like to create a, a safe environment in which people can have these kinds of discussions that you can't always have in other places. I think it's been going, the event's been going great. It, it's really good discussion, great presentations. People are really interested. I haven't seen anybody leave yet. Well, our keynote speaker, Peter Gleick, um, who is sort of what I would think of as a pop scientist. I mean, he's a he's very recognized and knowledgeable person, but he's also been able to reach the lay public. And I think his perspective about looking ahead 100 years and then looking backwards to today and using that as a way of looking at what are the issues that we're facing and what are some different ways that we might be able to put policies in place to try to solve these challenging issues not just in Iowa, but across the world, I think was a really interesting way of doing it. Hi, uh, my name is Joyce Zhu, and I work with Mark Edwards. I'm a PhD student in his group, and um, um, I'm also a member on the Flint Water Study Team, where we, uh, Mark started a team and where he kind of uncovered the whole lead uh, in Flint Water. And we, um, we got involved um, early, uh, summer 2015 and then we did several rounds of sampling there and uncovered there are high levels of lead in the flint water distribution systems and um, now uh, flint has been back on Detroit water but we have been doing continued monitoring to make sure to see if the lead levels in the water pipes ha has it de uh, been decreasing and to determine when it will be a, uh, when it will be a uh, it would decrease to a safe level for people to drink. We always try to adopt a very interdisciplinary perspective in, in terms of addressing water issues. So I, although I know Flint um, has the most critical one, is definitely lead poisoning, but it's also just like a very uh, interesting opportunity to study like other water related issues, either water chemistry or bacterial. And yeah, like for me it's more from a microbac uh, microbiology perspective, but it's all related. Yeah, my, my presentation was mainly about what happened in Flint, what caused uh, this whole massive and prolonged like, poisoning of an entire city for over 18 months, what caused it, and what our team, the Flint Water Study Team, uh, has done to, uh, to gather evidences and also to stop this uh, crisis. And where uh, and what our group is currently doing to continue monitor the systems. Um, I'd really like to thank everyone that's been involved in the planning and the sponsorship and people who are willing to step out of their comfort zone a little bit to be able to take on these issues. Not everybody wants to be in the place where there's somebody who doesn't have the same perspective and being willing to be on a panel with them and we've been seeing that today which has been great.